Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 149 of Let's Platinum Elden Ring. Alright, today let's start by walking over here and talking to a familiar face. Finally, we meet the tarnished, the would-be lord. Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. Okay, so this guy is using um, Yura's body, and his name is Shabriri. Let's see what else he has to say. You were about to sacrifice something precious the life of a fair maiden that you would toss into the fiery forge only so that you may be lord what a horrible thing to ponder your ascendancy requires her sacrifice whether she wishes it or not but how would the lord crown so be looked upon okay so he's talking about the frenzied flame and he's saying that in order to achieve lordship uh, of the frenzied flame, you have to make a sacrifice. So, and a sacrifice is a person's life. So, how would you be looked upon? Like you'll you'll be a lord, but you'll like rule in hell essentially. Uh, anything else? Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord. Dare to tread the path of true rigor. Spare the poor girl and singe your own flesh in her stead. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I, Shabriri. Interesting. Chosen tarnish, descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Okay, so he's gone full crazy now, but he's saying for us to do it. Anything else? Chosen tarn descend. No. Okay. So yeah, he's telling us to uh, seek audience with the the frenzy flame and uh, uh, attain it. Let's not do that yet. I'm going to leave him alone. Uh, also, I'm going to put this on so we can continue. Now, another thing I wanted to do, and I don't even know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. I'll just use like poison bone dart arrows, or poison bone darts to get through this section. This section sucks. <laughs> it is one of the worst sections. It's so hard. Uh, these, these, these are the Zamor ruins, and we're going to find the ancient heroes of Zamor here. We've fought them many times before. In order to best defeat them, the... Actually, you know what? Before we do anything here, I'm just going to use one of these. In order to best defeat them, honestly, the flame science works really well. So I'm going to just do this and completely miss. Let's try that again. Nice. It does cause a stun and it deals a significant amount of damage. I always do that. Because these guys as bosses are not too hard. You know, you just fight them. They, they do this side dodge, but because of the way flame stance works, it, it kind of works out. Oh, I forgot to level. Damn it. I'm going to do that first, because I don't want to lose those runes. Uh, ruins. Uh, no, runes. <laughs> what am I talking about? Shabiri also, we if you rem remember, we've heard that name before. We have uh, his woe constantly attracts enemies' aggression. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. Uh, maybe that's why he's covering his face. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner, can constantly attracts enemies' aggression. It is said that the man named Shabriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander, and, with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. 
Okay, well that, you know, that tracks based on how he was just there. Oh, we can talk to Melina here, let's do that. Uh, let's go upgrade, what was I upgrading? Faith. Yeah, I was gonna get Faith to 35. Let's talk to Melina. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. Mm. Okay, so she was given her purpose by her mother, but now she follows her own path, and despite how much effort she has gone to to make sure that we become Elden Lord, she won't let us... Damn. Oh, that was interesting. <clears throat> not good, not good. Let me do this. Just. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I prefer this attack. Nice. One, two. Alright, good, good, good. So the idea here is with these guys, if you fight them one at a time, no problem. Like, well, not no problem, but much less of a problem than you would normally have. If you fight them in groups, eh, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna try and use the poison bone darts to separate them as best as I can. So let's see, because some of them are like right next to each other and it's really annoying. So throw one. Okay, good. I did get the attention of the other one very slightly, but I think this will be enough. Let's see. Damn it, I timed this wrong every time. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. You might think, uh, why not use the magma worm scale sword? That was bad. It, it does work, like it definitely does work, but it's just not as good as this one. That, oh, I can't believe that here. Nice, one more. He changes direction. Oh, what? You jerk. <laughs> He almost got me. <laughs> he almost got me with this, this weird turn. I cannot believe that, like, the, the sides of that attack clipped me. Okay, there's another one here, so let's try doing, doing the same thing. Please reach. Yep. Oh, he was not aware of my attack, so he did more. Uh -huh. Tried to roll that. Okay, not bad, not bad. I can still do one more flame stance before I have to... And I may as well recover since I got that back. That is one good thing, like you get a lot of flask regen here for killing these guys. Okay, where's the next guy? I think there's one over here. A lot of butterflies as well, nascent butterflies in this area. Careful, careful, careful. I am going really slow through this section, but Honestly, it's better than, than dying. Okay, good. The other guy noticed me as well. Sort of. Night stance doesn't really work that well, so I at least I don't remember it doing so. Please, please, please. Nice. And you get the little flinch as well. Come on. That was good. Finish it. Nice. Alright, working our way through. This area, like, is also not really worth it. You can very much just, like, get everything that you need to get and then skip past the majority of it, but, you know, I want to try and do it properly. Come on, come on. Yes, one more. Give it to me, give it to me. Yes! That, that must have been, like, right at the end of his, uh, of the range there. Alright, not too many more. I think there's only two or three. Uh, where's the other one? There's one there. I probably don't need to, but I am going to throw... Oh, okay. I see the other one. I don't want to fight two at the same time. Even though you would think using the flame stance... Oh man, I'm going to regret this. Oh god. <laughs> That's a surefire way to die. Hmm. Maybe I can pull that one. Let me go around this way. Oops. There we go. 
Yes, yes, yes. Come here. Reach. Ah, jerk. Beautiful. Please, please, please. Thank you for flinching. Now do the side dodge. Thank you. And one more time. Nice. Okay, okay. Almost there, almost there. Just gotta beat two more. Pretty sure it's two more. There you are. You can use Latena for this, or, uh, well, probably a different... Um, Spirit Ash would be better. That was bad. That was good. I'm probably gonna get hit here. No. Ah, I... I let go of block the very last second. Maybe he's probably not gonna get hit by this, yeah. One. Nice, okay. 500, like almost 600 damage to this guy with the, I should call it the Sonaf from now on because it's sort of Night and Flame, even though you're not supposed to use articles in acronyms. But yeah, that's a good amount of damage. It almost kills him there. Nice, all right, I did it, fantastic. That took a little while, but at least we got through the whole thing without dying. I'm pretty confident that everyone's dead. I will still be cautious, but I'm pretty confident everyone's dead. All right, let's collect this. This is Zamor Ice Storm, which is basically the attack they've been using against us the entire time. It's more nascent butterflies. Let's read that ability. Okay, here it is. It requires 36 intellect. Ice sorcery of the town of Zamor. Okay, so Zamor is a town. So ancient hero of Zamor. Yeah, that makes sense. Strike the ground with a staff to create a freezing tornado. Charging enhance enhances potency. Cloaked in, excuse me, cloaked in icy tempests, the knights of Zamor have challenged the fire giants since ancient times. Fire and ice, the oldest battle ever. <laughs> All right, let's drop drop down here. Now this one I think is actually worth collecting because, if memory serves, it should be. Yes, the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing number three. So interestingly, I'll just quickly go over this. So this is the one that gives you Smithing Stone five and six. Now you can purchase from the Twin Maiden Husks. So if we, I can't remember where the first two are, but the third one, the one that we just got before is here in the sealed tunnel. So you do the sealed tunnel, you complete this area here in, let me get rid of this, in Altus Plateau, then you do Lane Dell, you move from Lane Dell to, for Lane Dell to Forbidden Lands, and then almost at the very beginning of, uh, what is this place called, Mountain Tops of the Giants, uh, you get the third one. So, an interesting placement, I, I really think that they just needed to move the the one in the sealed cave, they just needed to put it in, in an earlier place. Oh, we get Rhymed Roller, is that the first time? Yeah, that must have been the first time. Uh, there is another, I think there's two slivers of meat here, oh, that's right. There are these birds and they're very powerful, but if you upgrade your magma worm scale sword to plus um, nine, you should be able to one shot them. Nice. Yeah, and the fire does like really good damage to them. They do really good damage to you though, so be aware. Here we go. This should be, yeah, two slivers of meat. And I think the only other item in this whole area, which is very annoying because you spend ages like navigating it and trying to locate more items is right here, I believe. Yep. And it's invigorating cured meat, which we don't care about. Next thing, there's a teardrop scarab and it is right there. Now the way I got this on my practice was to just use black flame. So if I have that, that's what I'm gonna do. Is there anything around me? Hopefully not. So black flame it, black flame it. Done. And you get a somber 7 from that. Let me just heal to max. I don't want to deal with that anymore. And we'll get rid of this. Alright, we can stick with the Magma Worm Scale Sword for now. Let's keep going. Now we can make a little bit more progress. Alright, there is a dungeon locator here. Don't know why you can't act examine it. Whoa, okay. I was like, what is that sound? <laughs> yeah, don't know why you can't examine it on a horse. That could be... Look how many how many uh, runes I got from, from doing... like from not dying. Let me show you how much 
I can not die right now. <laughs> there we go. These birds suck. I think birds, all birds suck in all video games. <laughs> Alright, grab that. And we're just going to slowly climb this area. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So you basically you went here, talk to Shabriri, then you go through some more ruins, go around, so forth, so on and so forth. Now, with Shabriri, I did actually, like, there's a chance that I've skipped something with him, or, I mean, there's a chance you can continue his quest, and I will, but when I actually practiced, <laughs> I claimed the Frenzied Flame early, and if you do that, uh, Shabriri won't be there, it'll just be Yura's gear um, on the floor, and you won't also you also won't be able to talk to Melina for the entirety of this uh, area and sort of leading into the next area because she has more of a role to play. But yeah, she won't be there. She doesn't forgive you for taking the frenzied flame. That's why she was telling us a million times to stop what we were doing, and so I heeded her warning at the last second. And yeah, you can still finish the game, and I think you can still get all the endings. But I am actually not entirely sure of that. I haven't finished my practice quite yet, so... Oh, I don't know how I clipped that, but I'm glad that I did. Alright, so there's pretty much nothing here, so I'm just gonna go, trying to collect at least a bunch of this... a bunch of this stuff. Uh, okay, so these ones are fire monks, and I think we've... yeah, we fought them before. We can surprisingly, you can one-shot them with a plus nine magma worm scale sword, and I say surprisingly because obviously it's fire-based. Uh, and so, so are they. But you can one-shot them. The enemy that we're going to have trouble with is the large prelate warrior over there. But I'm going to use the same tactic that I used last time, which was to use the Sonaf's uh, Knight Stance to basically just keep him at bay. So let's go here. There was a Teardrop Scarab up there, but it was just for um, health. Got the Briars of Punishment Sorcery right there. And I, I will try and use that. Alright, I'm going to switch it now, because I want to be prepared. So, Sonaf. And then we're going to go... One, two, three. That's fine, I missed the first one. Alright, and now you want to get back. This guy is no joke, so let's hope. Block that. As you can see, that is how much damage my Knight Stance did to him, which is not very good. I would recommend only using this when he's, like, charging at you. Or when he's slowly approaching, so that because he's going to use his whip, and it's going to hurt. So make sure you stand back. Also, doing it on this slant doesn't really work that well, so just avoid this attack altogether. And now he's charging. Come on. Now he's got fire and whipping. Got very lucky there. Here we go. So it does do a good amount of damage, it's just you've got to be really good with your timing. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, this is risky. Yeah, that was not good. I was hoping he would... No! Oh my goodness. Okay, we got this, we got this. If I still had the poison bone dart, I'd probably use it. Nice. <laughs> okay. I like slashed him right in the face as well. Damn, that must have hurt. Okay, awesome. Well, we did it. And now I can claim the treasure that's around here. Which is the most valuable thing in this game. Arteria Leaf. <laughs> okay, before we move on to this linear path that you can see that leads us over here, we're going to use that dungeon locator to notice that we have a catacomb over here. This catacomb sucks. I am probably really going to hate this. And I really hope that I get through it in one fell swoop, because it is not fun. And let me just get... yep, yeah, okay. I was like, I want to make sure that I'm on the right position here. The Beast Eye Quivers, yes. Finally, we can access a new uh, death route when we come in here. Alright, so, in order to do this, I am going to use, most likely... The, and I should have upgraded it further. I'm going to use the Staff of the Avatar. I probably should have given that a plus, like an increase, but I didn't. I don't know if I should go back and do it. Oh, let's just keep going. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
All right, so we have these stone imps as always, but the the Ur tree, nice. The stuff of the avatar. Oh, please, thank you. Is it's slow, but it is hefty, and its power is insane. It's very good against these guys as well. It's practically the only weapon I could fit, find. I mean, not that I tried every single weapon, but it was practically the one that I could find that I was like, yep, I think this is good. Okay, that's not good though. Let me run away. kind of want to try Earth Tree Slam against them, but it takes so long to... Did I just... I think that was a... I think that broke his stance. I'm going to heal here. Biggest downside of dungeons is that no matter how much you kill, you can't get your flasks back, so using... Using flasks like that quickly is kind of sucky. All right, so let's keep going. This first area is interesting because you can actually drop down this elevator. You can almost tell down there there's another section to the dungeon. I'm actually going to leave that for last. Instead, I'm just going to follow the main path until we uh, find like a, a fork. We'll leave it for last because it's right near, near the end door. So let's head around here and take out this stone imp. Oh yes, that's right. This part sucks because they throw magic pots at you. Nice. Roll, roll. One, two. Should be just enough time to get out of the way of this one. One, two. Jumping art ones are really good. Very, very, uh, very useful attack. Let's go down. Okay, doing well, doing well. It's, this dungeon is very, or catacomb, is very complicated, actually. Well, at least one part of it is. Alright, so we've got a bunch of these... Uh, what are they called again? Warrior jars. So be careful of those. And then we've got, I think this is... Ah, okay, yeah, it's just a regular warrior jar. Look at that knockback. Alright, well there you go. That's definitely the weapon to use, because he did not stand a chance because of that stagger. Excellent, 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 excellent. I'm surprised, I don't think I ever used it against these guys, but yeah, it makes sense. And my guess would be that it's not necessarily just this weapon, but it's the colossal weapon category, so any of this would work. Maybe even, you know what, maybe even this is probably the one I'd say would be the least likely to work. Is there still... If there's one around here, I'm going to use it. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Let's try. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but I'm just curious. No? Okay. Maybe... Uh, it's hard to tell. Okay. There could be something where either it is specific, you know, it could even be like a law reason. It's like, okay, this is the stuff of the Avatar, so it's related to the Erd Tree, and then the Erd Tree is... You know, <laughs> just keep extrapolating from that. It's a big bulky tree that is... I don't know, I don't know. You, you know, you know what I mean though. But I, I, I think it could be more related to like the design. So like obviously the golem halberd has a... Um, like a cleave kind of look to it. Whereas this is just sheer brute force. Okay, this is the part that actually sucks because these guys do not stop running and in order to activate their explosion you have to actually get close to do that and get them to jump roll keep it going keep it going oh don't kill me running through this area is risky but also safe in a way <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> that was like a 360 have I got I do have the light on sorry I don't remember the, the catacomb being this dark, so I'm not sure what happened there. Alright, so this is the part that gets a little bit confusing now. We're gonna find, yeah, we're gonna find a bunch of these, uh, what are they called again? Land squirts, that's it. So I'm gonna switch back to, if I can ever find it, there we go. Magma Worms, Magma Worm Scale Sword. I'm just gonna take them out with a few hits. They still have quite a bit of health, you can take them out in three hits, but still quite a bit of health. Oops. And this poison is... I don't know if it's considered a different poison, but it immediately hurts you, rather than having, like, you having to be afflicted by it. 
I have a feeling I'm not going to <laughs> be able to get through this because the sort of secret or semi-secret areas in this dungeon are quite challenging and I only have six flasks left but we'll see we'll see what happens okay oh oh, oh he was he didn't notice me okay I was like Ah, uh, yes, okay, so that's a trap, but it's actually quite a useful trap, right? I'm pretty sure? Yeah. And the reason is because you got this guy, and if you get him close enough, like, that should be okay. No? If you get him close enough, you can actually deal damage with the trap. Let's try again. Come on, dude, get over here. I know I can beat him, like, pretty easily by just smacking him like this, but... He cannot do anything, he is completely at the mercy of this weapon. You get a ritual pot, makes sense. And don't forget this. Alright, so here's the part where you gotta kinda keep an eye on how the dungeon works. Stimulating boluses. Okay, you drop down here, but if you look up, you can you can't see it, but there's a like there's an area up there and we can drop down from there soon. So what you do is you drop down into this location, you collect nascent butterfly one, have a look around up here, nothing. And we're going to drop down. Now, it looks like we've been in this area before. Ah, I was like, where is it? It looks like we've been in this area before, but we actually haven't. This is technically a new area. I noticed that as you progress through these catacombs, there's a certain point you get to where they start using this idea of looping catacombs, or like looping dungeon, essentially. Nice. That is not nice, I didn't realise he would... <laughs> should have known that, but got the better of me. Okay, so you think, alright, well we, you know, we came through here, there's a corridor... Actually, give me a sec. Uh, okay, it says... Hmm, alright, I'm going to take the stairs. I actually think I should have taken the corridor, because I think that leads to a dead end, but I'm going to trust my guide, because I actually went through this a few times to make sure I got it right, so I'm going to... Hopefully get this right. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. That was remarkable. Can we do that again? Up away, up away. Okay. Now we should be good. Let's get this guy. Up. Up. Just like turning the camera just to check. Excellent. Grave Glove Ward 8. Living jar shard, raw meat dumpling as always, and now we go here, and now this one looks exactly the same, but there is a difference. So we climb up, okay, making decent progress. So at the moment it looks exactly the same, right? All the land squirts that we saw, they're spewing poison, this one is going to spew poison from one... Ah, man, stay away from that. Yeah, I should have actually mentioned that, but I cannot urge you enough to, if there's poison, just get out of there. Probably better to black flame him. It just dissipates the poison. And then you got this big land squad as well. So this one wasn't here before, and that's supposed to be, I guess, one clue as to the fact that this isn't exactly the same, despite the fact that it looks the same. Now watch out with this guy, because he uses that attack where he just, like, Falls like that. I am. Wow. <laughs> uh, no, that's not going to be enough. Okay. Down to three. Three is really not good. I think I'm going to struggle, but we'll see how we go. Okay. This guy you can... Uh, what, the one interesting thing about hitting him with the trap is if you get him all three times... Oh no, sorry. Yeah, he uses this attack. Oh, I should have changed back to stuff of the avatar. But anyway, he used an attack that was uh, actually like a buff on himself and he gave himself like steel skin or something. It actually looks really cool, but I killed him too quickly. All right, now that we're here, uh, you can actually see this, this top part is complete, so you can't go any higher, but you can jump down here. Then you jump down here, and then you jump down here. Ah, that's why we go up the stairs, yeah. So now we're in that same spot that we were in before, where we had a decision between these stairs and that corridor. So now we're going to go down the corridor, that's what it is. 
Uh, and then with the corridor, we're gonna go straight up, I think. But I need to change to this. This is where I could die, so fingers crossed I don't. There's a path leading underneath that continues the dungeon, but we're gonna go to a quick dead end here. And annoyingly, we're gonna find a lot of these coming up. There's gonna be an Ur Tree Burial Watchdog, and these guys suck. Like, they really, really suck. Um, let me just see something. There's not really much I can do here. I could Golden Vow. Yeah, I guess I'll Golden Vow. It's a dead end. It's a single Ur Tree Burial Watchdog. I like to do jumping R2s. That was a really good attack for him to do, because now if I do a third one, yep. As you can see, I, I like to poise break this, this thing because it does good damage. But then surviving the next part is tough because I didn't know when to roll there and I pressed it when I thought, but I think I pressed it too late. So now I need probably not a jumping R2 is not going to finish him. I landed on his sword and it did damage. Okay, good. <clears throat> jumping R1 was enough to finish him after that root resin. And Grave Glove War 9. Alright, now. We've done that part. Oh, crap, I forgot about you guys. Ugh. Everyone dies. Oh, what? That's a new one. I'm pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. I do need to basically go and <laughs> recharge, but. This weapon is so powerful that even hitting it on the ground. Oh no. Can, like, cause them to get knocked back. Okay, we did it. Somehow we did it. Let's get out of here. I think I heard the pitter-patter of one more. Now, if only I could get back to the beginning. Actually, I just realized, can I even get back to the beginning from this point? Yes, I could. But I can't get out of here. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I am actually gonna do this off-screen. I'm gonna run back and try and essentially like just use the grace point at the beginning of the dungeon. I'll actually sh I'll have to show you how to do that. So in order to do that, actually I shouldn't, well, I, I'll, I won't show the whole thing, hopefully, <laughs> but I'll show you how to get back. So we've got to go all the way up here, where we came before, please make it. Thank you. That's fine. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it is actually a little complicated to get back. But I pretty much have no choice because, yeah, this dungeon is very, very challenging. And then I guess I won't show me going back to that location. I'm going to run past most of it, but we'll see. And I might also change my flask. So what you have to do is you have to jump down here. Maybe, no, I can't do it actually. Yeah, because I need to be in there, right? Yeah, I can't do it. Ah, oh, but I can do it through here. I think that's what it is. Let me see. So, yeah, I think I can jump down here. And I think this is where we've been before. And now, is this the actual... Where does this take me? I think this takes me back to the beginning. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Yeah, that was the first elevator. All right, cool. That didn't take that long. I did go the wrong way for a sec, but it didn't take that long. There's the end door. We still haven't opened that, but we're going to. There's a secret spot under there that we have to do. But we're gonna recover. Yeah, this is probably one of the harder, harder um, catacombs in the game, so. Defeating those burial watchdogs is probably the hardest part. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go back to that position. I'll go back to the area that I was at, but I'll do it off screen so that way I can save some time. Go, 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 go. All right, there we go, we made it back. Can I level, by the way? Uh, wow, close. <laughs> All right, let me head back to exactly where I was off screen and then we'll continue from there. Be right back. Okay, I made it back, I didn't die. Uh, I didn't really kill that many enemies. I, uh, the part that you have to get up to is just when you see the land squirts for the first time, jump off, uh, jump down into that room 
and then this is where you had to make, make the decision and the stairs lead you back into this room, then you can take the corridor to continue. And the corridor leads to an elevator. The elevator is up because that's where, how I left it before. And now we're gonna jump down here. And you notice that I actually jumped down here before to go back to the beginning. But this time we're gonna, we're gonna stay up here and go this way. And this leads us to a different section. Okay. I guess technically this is all I had to do. Oh, well, hello guys. So, Golden Rune 10. Come on. Mm. There we go. We got the switch. I just realized this is all I had to do. <laughs> I should have done that. And then that way I wouldn't have had to run back. Whoops. Alright, anyway. Let's do that. Now we're going to head back. Yeah, we're going to head back this way. This one should be, like, I can't actually jump down. Yep. So we'll go back this way, and then now we only have one more, like, bit to do, but it is absolutely the hardest bit. And all the enemies are probably alive here, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Are these guys who threw stuff? I can't remember. Alright, there's the end door, but we're gonna skip it. Instead, we're gonna go here. So in order to get this part, you need to step on this switch. That'll raise that platform. Let me just have a look back here to make sure these guys... Yeah, okay, they should be far enough away. So it raises that platform brings up this part and then you've got to oops, you've got to step on this to go down and this is the most difficult section of the dungeon I hate it but it's for completion you don't mm, yeah I'm pretty confident you don't need to do this but for completion there is one thing that we can collect down here all right so first let's start by taking out this stone imp that happens all the time downside to this, first of all you can get a Grave Glove or 8 here, is that there's an Earth Tree Burial Watchdog right here. How did I not dodge that? This guy sucks. How? Like actually how did you make it up here? I tried to roll, or like I tried to delay my roll to when I thought. Interestingly there's a stake of Marika here but I don't know where it puts you. I don't even remember that. Good. Perfect. Can I please have this? <laughs> Look at me, I'm floating. And come on, come on. Yes, alright, good. We got one down. I think there's only one or two more. Go, go, go. Let me beast your vitality again. Ah, yes. So, that tower, just use your, um, like, mo Moog Shackle. There we go. And down it goes. I think I showed that off once, but if I didn't, you can see it now. Uh, the reason that works is just the nature of the design of that item. Hang on, I'll explain in just a second. Thank you. That worked out rather nicely. <laughs> How many of those have dropped in this game? Fork Tatch, it's so many. Yeah, the reason that worked is... Uh, just the nature of the design of that item, it, because you use one on Margit and you use one on Moog, they needed to make it so that it would definitely hit the enemy, and so like that there were no, you know, so that it was essentially fair to and it had to hit the enemy. So I think what they did was they create like an invisible uh, perimeter around your character, and it it's huge, like it is massive. Oh, I should have rolled the other way, maybe. I, wow, like, I got demolished there. Oh well, at least the Stake America is here. But I actually can't remember where it puts me. This is, like, I died to this quite a lot, but does it just put me at the very beginning, like... Okay, good, yeah. This is where I thought it put me, but I wasn't sure. I do not know how to deal with this guy without him, like, falling off the edge. That's like one of the things I hate the most. And now the other one knows that I'm here, and yeah. And now the fun begins. There's my death, yep. I already, I could already see it was gonna happen. I don't know how to deal with that stupid stone imp. So yeah, I lost like 100,000 runes, but oh well. <sighs> I was pretty sure I was gonna die. It's, it's not an easy section. I had every chance in the world to beat that other tree burial watchdog, it just got the better of me. 
Yeah, so I don't know, you can throw something at it, you can try and get its attention. Let me try like Stone of Garank, it's probably just gonna just knock it down. <laughs> How are you supposed to do anything about that? What a terribly placed enemy. Alright, well it came back up, which is nice. And you can also Stone of Garank this, these guys, but I don't think it... it's okay, I guess. And then sometimes it misses. Alright, oh, it worked. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'll grab my 800 runes. That was a good roll. Uh, what? Why did it do three damage? <laughs> that must have like fallen on him or something. I guess you can block that attack like that. That seems to work pretty well. Or you can roll under. Oh my goodness. How... <laughs> Alright, well, at least he's dead and I can try again. But I'm really upset about the fact that I died. Uh, let's... let's just use this. May as well use this. Maybe I'll try and stone of crank this guy. Maybe I actually did that. I'm starting to think I actually did that. You could use the pillar, but I don't think it does much because it's frost as well. Come on. No, I didn't want to get hit there. Don't frost me. Yeah, he can come under here as well. Can't really reach you as easily. Mm, please! Oh, jerk. Let me go back this way. Come on, come on. Yeah, see, there's no way I would have been able to do this with the as few flasks as I had. The stone doesn't seem to do as much poise damage as, as I was hoping. Please throw. Oh, I cannot believe they gave it to me. Yes. <laughs> I didn't think I had enough poise damage, but I managed to get it. Nice. Alright, you defeat that guy, and for coming down all the way here, defeating all those things, you get the Fire Monk Ashes, of course. Let's read them. Uh, spirit of a stout monk who monitored the giant's flame, versed in fire incantations, and himself steeled against fire. Though he was charged with keeping watch over the flame, after many years of solemn duty, he has succumbed to its allure. Oh, okay. I just remembered that there's a stone imp in that little alcove. So it's probably coming after me, but I'm going to avoid it. Alright, let's get out of here. We can at least finish off this dungeon and do a teensy bit more. Uh, now, how do I get back up? So I think it's... Yeah, just like that. Is there anything under this? No. Kind of looks like there is, but there's not. Okay, so now all that remains is to go through the end door, which should be right here. I'm pretty confident I can be... Oh, actually, yeah. No, before we do this, we're going to do that to bring it back down. So I'm pretty confident I can beat the boss right now with the tools that I have at my disposal. But I think I would rather go back one final time. Where's my... Damn, it's so hard to find weapons. Why... Why do they not make this easier? Is there a favorites menu that I don't know about? I honestly don't know. I don't know why. Like, I'm like looking at it. Simple view, switch. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Wait, no, it's not here. There's sorting, attack power. What's description? I don't know what DES. No! I don't know what DES stands for. Feels like it would stand for description. Wait, does it? Run, run, run. <laughs> I was gonna say, does it tell me? And then I stopped at the absolute worst possible place I could stop at. Go, go, go. Oh, thank goodness the grace point's right here. Alright, excellent. Let's go deal with this boss. And you all know who this is. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spoil it. It's, uh, it's another it's, um, ulcerated tree spirit, so. Nothing too special, but I think with the reduced flasks that I had, it would have probably been a little bit, bit tougher to win. Oh, this is a problem. Nice. So, yeah, this... oh, even that works well. 
one thing to point out is like when you see like how that attack affected the stone in first of all it doesn't make sense like why would stone burn that doesn't make any sense to me uh, but the second thing is it doesn't always work like I depends on when you when you hit them there's like certain times where it just won't affect them and it's generally during like one of their attacks so it's not consistent but what is consistent is this boss in this game because there's a lot of them all right I want to check this that's fine I am not going to take chances we're doing the same strat every single time look no, no you don't summon Latena with triangle you summon Latena with square all right Latena kick his butt and this is just a regular ulcerated one not a uh, not a putrid one thankfully oh, he's still gonna die Let's roll I was actually more looking at my my uh, FP when he did that attack, but it's so telegraphed that I could still react to it. My peripheral was where the main part of the screen was. Run! I think that attacks range, and I think I said this before, but I think that attacks range is not as large as I think it is. But it just seems like it is. It, it, it depends on where the pillars hit. Thank goodness you can roll straight through that, because that would not have been good. Ow, 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 ow. These attacks look like Death Blight, but it doesn't seem to inflict Death Blight. Come on! Go, Latena. She did more than half of the work for me. Okay, he's dead. He got double, double hit at the end there. Golden Seed, and you get the Glove Wart Pickers Bell Bearing number 2. And 48,000 measly souls, er, uh, runes. Where is that one? That one gives you... Grave, Glove Ward 4, 5, and 6. Say, hey, another of my favourites. And, you can also collect, if you remember, the Death Root. And that finally completes this ridiculously annoying and difficult dungeon, but it was quicker than how I did on practice, so that's nice. We can... yeah, let's go do that, actually. Oh, actually, let's not do that just yet. I was gonna say, we can... We can go hand in the death root, but let's not do that just yet. Instead, let's skip past these prelates. Woo! Fire hot. <laughs> just keep running, running, running. You do have to worry there's a golem in the distance. You can actually see him quite clearly here, depending on what part of the day it is. But there's a golem in the distance, so be aware of him. He's going to start attacking you very soon. Let's see. The first thing you want to do is collect this, which is Lost Ashes of War. Get some smoldering butterflies. He should, yeah, he's gonna start attacking now. So as long as you can just keep an eye on him. I'm gonna hop down here. Okay, we heard the sound, so we know we can progress safely. I think another one is coming. Yeah, here we go, that's fine. The item we do wanna get is this one here. Drop down to collect Golden Rune 7, that was worth it. Fire Blossom Drawstring Holy Grease, he got me. I missed an item. Rainbow Stone, also worth it. Ah. <laughs> I think that's another downside of this game, is that it's so long that a lot of the items that you can find are just not worth it. There's so much just it's, it's kind of like, actually, it's almost like fat, as, you know, the trim the fat, the old saying, trim the fat. Yeah, it's almost like that. At least my opinion. One of my favorite things is, like, chopping at these guys' legs. They're so vulnerable, and that's their absolute weak spot, and it just does so much damage. Even... I thought he was melting into the ground. <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't get to hit him in the chest, but that's fine. Wow, he gave me almost everything back. I am three Crimson Flasks short. How much time do I have left? About 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Golden Rune 13. I wonder why Golden Rune's got to 13. There should be a grace point around here. Where is it? Let me do a little bit of exploring. I'm positive there's like one right near here. Well, I can get this. Oops. One, two. Good.
good. And Somber 8. Oh, fantastic. I can actually upgrade the stuff of the Avatar again if I want, wanted to. Where's this damn grace point? Uh, must be further up. Is there an item around here? Yes, there is. And I missed it. Soft cotton. As opposed to hard cotton. <laughs> is there such a thing as hard cotton? Maybe. Oh, Trina's Lily. Yeah, screw it. I got plenty of that. Alright, I think the grace point's here. There we go, that's what I wanted. Alright, so we have the grace point, and if I didn't screw up, yep, Millicent is here. We will talk to her momentarily, but first, I would like to teleport to the Bestial Sanctum so that we can hand in that death root and get a, uh, a reward. Let's see. Alright. All we need to do is go to him. He shouldn't say anything new, but I'll try. No. Hand over death root. One, yes. I won't forget. Again. My appetite. My sin. I must have more. I must consume more. And we get the Beast Claw Great Hammer, which is actually, I feel like it's a pretty good weapon. It should be down here with the Staff of the Avatar. Oh, did I? I haven't sorted things properly. There we go. Oh, descending, that's what it means. Not. But then, hang on. So descending, but it still says descending. Oh, ascending. Ascending, descending. I hadn't seen the ASC. Uh, where is it? It's this one here, sorry. Not, it's a great hammer, not a colossal weapon. Great hammer with a striking end, modelled to resemble five beastly claws. The black nails protruding from golden fur are said to represent Serosh, Lord of Beasts, who went on to become Kid King Godfrey's regent. And it says unique skill, Regal Beast Claw. Slam the hammer into the ground, rending the land asunder with the armaments, five beastly claws. This is really cool, watch this. Rawr. It actually is, like... That's such a cool attack. Probably good for like crowd control stuff or when you need to defeat a lot of like little weak enemies very quickly. All right, back to ancient snow valley ruins. We have a little bit of time left, so I'll try and go a little bit further. Quickly rest here. I assume I'm facing, okay. Yep, there's Millicent. She's not gonna say too much, but let's talk to her. To think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly? Oh. I know well enough who you are, and what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again, in battle, should you have the need. Pretty sure that's all she, sh she says, but let's see. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halic tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. Okay, and anything else? I'm searching for no. a herd. The... Okay, so she's searching for a, uh, something called the Halic tree, and she heard that the medallion, if you remember, we actually have half of the medallion already. Uh, we got it very early in the game. We got the secret medallion for right, and it was given to us by... I forgot his name, but he was here. He was in the village of the Albanarix. And he was in... Albus. Albus gave it to us. And he said to... Latena was also part of it. And now this... Uh, now Millicent is telling us that there's a, a fort. And this is the fort right here. We're going to head there very soon. If we pay attention here, we actually get a little bit of dialogue. Let me just switch to... This. Should get a bit of dialogue. Hang on a sec. Mm. Hmm. Does it have to be night time? How very odd. Let me let me try something because when I ran through here, this is very strange. Yeah, maybe it has to be night time because I think it was night time when I practiced this. Let me try past time, nightfall. I really would like this to happen. 
Could be wrong about it being nighttime, but let's see. Oh, it looks similar. I hear whistling. Or maybe that's like the deer's cries or something. Should have been right here. Hmm. Maybe further down? I'm gonna defeat this golem. It's very odd. Alright, I will try and figure out what the... What the... Oops. Trigger is for that. For next time. How did you not... How did you not fall down after that last attack? Oh, damn. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I like beating these golems when they have the, the weak part on their leg, but when they don't, screw that. He's gonna attack. Okay, dead. Alright, very strange that the thing that I was trying to have happen didn't work, but oh well. We're gonna head to the right first. I actually went to the left first during practice because I wanted to beat Juno Hoslo from the previous, uh, from the Volcano Manor quest, but I realized actually going right makes more sense at this point. It's a bit more efficient. I'm gonna defeat this one. <laughs> I missed. Go, 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 go. I've never done this before, but let's try it. That might have not been the best idea. I should also probably use another rune arc soon. Oh man, <laughs> that was interesting. I just love that attack. Please, can you fall over? Thank you. On the right side. Bang. Okay, almost out of time, but we should be able to at least finish this one little thing. Yeah, see so if you attack too soon, you're gonna miss. Okay, beat it. Let's go over here. Grab a golden seed. I think that was it, right? Ah, oh, there's also a Mikula's lily right here, so grab that. I think we're all good. Alright, now this part. Uh, this part... Let me do that again because I want my horse to be full. So we actually have to wake up this golem. And we have to drag him over here. Well, we don't have to, but you should. That moon looks so good. I really like the look of that moon right there. You have to drag him over here, which can be a little bit of a process because we have another one of those statues. Now his swings are quite like extended, you can see. And if he does one particular swing, I don't know if it was that one or if it's the one that should come up next. Yeah, this one. I think it's this one. This one is really far. Like, look out. He's pretty close. So it just needs to get here a little bit more. That's it. That's it. One. The back swing. And... That is not good. <laughs> that is not what I want. Swing again, swing again. Come on. No, don't do this crap where you... Uh, I don't know if it's just FromSoft games that have that, but I've definitely encountered that backwards walking thing in many other video games. The game just gets confused. Even though technically your only job is to destroy this. <laughs> Not only job. Can you please get over here? Man, you are really getting on my nerves now. This is not gonna work. Actually, probably would have. Don't you dare backwards walk. <laughs> Come on! Game! I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Get over here. He's making me waste all of my time. That one was good. Cool. Again with the fire. Okay, so I know if he does the fire, he's going to backwards walk. So I'm going to try and get closer to him. There we go. There we go. This should be it. Yep. Thank you. Smithing stone. Seven times three. Alright. Worth. Very worth. Roll. 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 And... Up and chop. It's amazing how he's made a fire and my fire stuff still works. Good. So 
far my health and armor seem to be holding up pretty well, which is nice. Did he fall? No, it sounded like it. Come on, I'm already over time. Okay, we're pretty much done now. So next time, what I'll do, once this guy's dead first, is, as I said, I'll probably... I don't know if I'll start from the grace point. Yeah, I might actually, I might have, Oh look, I got another golem's halberd. <laughs> it's not that hard to get, I guess. I might actually start from here again, and then we're going to work our way there, and then we'll go left and try and get this Volcano Manor request done for Juno Hoslow. Okay, well, we'll leave things there. For now, and thank you all for watching episode 149 of Let's Plan a Meldering. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.